Hey YouTube, so I'm back with a video review of the Xtronic 4040 from the Xtronic 4000 series and that's a hot air rework station and a soldering station. In the previous video I did an unboxing review of this station and today I'm going to show it in action. So a lot of times with beginner beginners in electronics the question comes up should I get a soldering iron? Should I get a soldering station? Which one? Why? And let me clear up some of the confusion. These soldering irons are pretty cheap. You can pick them up from Fry's, Radio Shack, eBay, 9 to 10 bucks. This is a 30 watt right here and this is a 60 watt. But are these really worth the cheap price? In my opinion, no. There are many reasons for that. The tips on these cheap soldering irons dies really fast. And you can't control the temperature, so the temperature is always on high and these don't last that long when you get a soldering station the tips are usually high quality you get to adjust the temperature and it's a lot easier to solder plus these irons heat up in about 20 to 30 seconds and these take almost five minutes so if you are a beginner I highly recommend you save up a little bit more money and actually get a soldering station Okay, now that I've explained um, a soldering station versus soldering iron, there's some still some people wondering whether they need a soldering station, um, whether they need a hot air rework station or just a soldering station. Well, that kind of depends on what you're going to be using it for. If you're just going to be occasionally soldering through whole components, not really planning on getting deep into electronics, then you're good. Just you're, then you'll be fine with just a soldering station. But if you're planning on getting deep into electronics, engineering, electronics, pretty soon you're going to hit SMD components, surface mount technology, and then you're going to, it'll be a lot easier to work with SMD components if you have a hot air rework station. Okay, I'm going to briefly go over what this soldering station came over. I'm not going to go in that much detail because I already did that in my unboxing video. So first, uh, it came with 10 tips, soldering tips, various sizes, there's chisel tips, uh, sharp tips, and all that. And basically, these tips are high quality. They run at about $3 each, so that's about $30 worth of tips right there. It also came with a backup or a spare heating element for the hot air gun and for the soldering iron. And this is also about 3 to $5 each. And the best part about this station is it comes with the one year signed warranty and basically if anything it's a hundred percent guarantee that if anything goes wrong with the station within a year they'll either fix it or replace it and there's I called and found out where their service station was parts distribution and it's in Lincoln Nebraska so you're not going to be shipping out your station to some weird place in Hong Kong or China or anywhere it's local once again, they, the warranty is signed exactly a year from the ship date, and that's a really good thing. The other bonus of purchasing the Xtronic 4000 from Mercantile Station is that the seller includes this lamp for free. And this lamp sells for normally about $35 to $40. And basically, it's a, a lighted lamp with a 5 times magnifying glass. I'm gonna point the camera through the magnifying glass real quick and in the center there's a 15 times magnification this lamp is really good and it makes the station totally worth buying alright so I'm going to point out a few quick features of this station and then we're going to go on to the actual demonstrations I'll start off with the soldering iron so it has a 60 inch silicone cord which means that there is no memory so if you bend it like this it will return to its regular form it won't like last like that and then um basically the, uh, these are the on off switches and the switches are independent so if you only need the hot air gun you don't need to turn on the soldering iron and if you need only the soldering iron you don't need to turn on the hot air gun and uh, this station has an auto cool off feature so basically um, the, when you turn it off the fan keeps blowing until the temperature goes below 50 degrees that ensures that the heating element has a longer life you'll see it'll go off in a few seconds and then uh, 
This is a control, a temperature control for the soldering iron. And right here, this is the heater temperature, and this is the fan speed. And uh, there's two separate LCDs for the heating for the hot air gun and the soldering iron. Basically, as you can see, the soldering irons heating up to hot soldering irons at 430, 37, 40 degrees right now. That's basically it for the features. Now we can start um, make, doing the actual demonstration. Okay, so this first demonstration is uh, just basic soldering and I have the camera set up through looking through the magnifying lamp that's included with the station and I'm basically trying to solder a capacitor on. This is kind of hard to do through the camera but I'll try my best. Okay. Joint two. So as you can see, shine nice shiny joints and this soldering iron performed well.